Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I got my Sephora VIB sale order. It is quite, quite a hefty order. Um, I hit rouge for next year on this order, so that's kind of embarrassing, but that is what it is. Um, I have a lot of stuff to share with you. Exciting stuff, one kind of sad thing. I'll start with that first. So I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette, and this was what I was most excited about and it's broke. So I have to be super, super careful showing you guys. Um, I already called Sephora. They're sending me a new one and then I just have to take this one back to the store whenever I get that new one in. But that just makes me sad because I'm ready to use it. I mean, it's usable, but it's just, it's messy. So I just have to be super careful showing you guys. I mean, it's not a total disaster, but Cinder and Pearl are broke. I don't know if you can see, Cinder's like completely out of the pan there and Pearl's the same, but the rest are pretty much intact. But like the glitter and stuff from that breaking is all over the place. But oh my goodness, you guys, this is beautiful. I think my favorite shades are going to be Cinder and Rose Quartz. Bloom is kind of strange. I don't know how I feel about that. Birch is just like this beautiful matte with some warmth in it. It's stunning. So I might play with this a little bit just because it's still usable um, until I get my new one in the mail. Um, but I'm, I'm super excited to have it, but I am disappointed that it is broke. So that is actually, I think the only makeup item that I have is the Sultry palette. But I love Anastasia eyeshadow palettes, and I'm super excited to have this. Let's just do a couple of swatches. Let's do Rose Quartz, Cinder, if I can kind of get it. Center is very glittery. Let's do bloom. So this is rose quartz, cinder, and bloom. Look how pretty that matte pink is. These are beautiful. I think these are going to be the types of shades, I don't know if this will focus, that um, you can really easily pack on your lid and they just have such a punch to them. So love that, but sad that it is broke. Okay. I just went and washed my swatches off and actually popped a little bit of, um, rose quartz on my lid. I don't know, just to <laughs> see what it looked like. So I am excited to have that here eventually and kind of play with it. And I'm hopeful that they'll get that shipped out fast since it's like a damaged item. But anyway, I'll get through the rest of my stuff here. I picked up <laughs> the Sol de Janeiro Biggie Biggie Boom Boom Cream. So this is like a massive tub of the Boom Boom Cream. I couldn't pass this up. It was a really good deal. I think that this was $75, but it's less per ounce than getting the full size ones. So let me show you here. This is what the tub looks like. So it's cute because it's got all these pictures of Rio, it says on here. It says, welcome to Rio. And little um, pictures, I think, I'm looking for an ounces. I think this is, yeah, 16.9 fluid ounces of the Boom Boom Cream. And it has a like little seal, which I really like. And what's even more impressive about this massive Boom Boom Cream is you get a little surfboard scoop. I'm super excited about this because I think it just kind of keeps the product nice if you can just scoop in here and get some lotion, put it on your body. You don't have to dip your hands into it. Not that I really mind dipping my hands into lotion, but I think that this is a nice little added addition. So I have one, just regular size one. That's about half finished. I want to finish that up and then I'll get working on this. But for the price, I couldn't beat this and... It's just one of the, my favorite products ever. So I picked that up. Next, you guys actually just saw this in my birthday sale haul, but I got another two pack of the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, so this is $39 for two full size all nighter setting sprays. And it even comes packaged separately, which I thought was great for gifting. If you wanted to gift these out or just whatever you had two full-size complete ones that you could gift. What I, I want them for me. I decided to pick up two more, so now I have a total of four of these because I really do love this setting spray, and I thought having four of these would last me probably the whole year, and they always have these little duos and stuff, and so to get this for how inexpensive 
I thought I would pick it up. So not only was this $39 for two, but plus I got the additional 20% off. So now I really do work. So now I have two of those. I did hit Rouge, like I said, so they send this silly little gift. I I sound super ungrateful, and I'm not. I'm grateful that they send anything at all, but I just don't understand why they send these, they send these little brushes. I guess this could be a good, like, travel brush. So this is what it looks like. It's not very dense. It's very soft. Maybe it'd be a good, like, blush brush or contour powder or anything, um, but that was my Rouge gift picked up my favorite scrub of the moment. This is the Ola Hendrickson Transforming Walnut Scrub. So I got a full size of this in my Allura Beauty Box one month and I fall in love with it. It's in my shower right now and so I wanted to pick another one up while it was 20% off. So this is what it looks like. And this is the size I got in my Allure Beauty Box so I thought that was fantastic. I can't remember how much this was but I mean it wasn't cheap. It makes my skin feel so good. The walnuts in it, it's very abrasive, but I feel like once or twice a week, it's really great just to get all the dead skin off your face. It leaves my skin feeling so soft. It does leave kind of a mess in your shower because it's walnut and it doesn't dissolve, um, but it's just fan. It's fantastic. So I had to pick up another one of these. The Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. This is a primer that I had like a deluxe size sample of and really enjoyed. And this was actually the Weekly Wow um, on the Weekly Wow the week of the first order. And so I got this for $19. So it was actually half off instead of 20%. And so I thought that was the perfect time to pick it up. It's been sitting in my loves list. I've just been kind of waiting for the right time, and that was the right time. So this is what it looks like. I felt like it just gave a really good base to my skin, and I struggle not so much anymore because I've been really good with my skincare, but with acne. I get cystic acne or definitely hormonal acne, and so just having some products that kind of just have that added um, acne, anti-acne benefit to it is really great for me. And for half off, I couldn't, couldn't beat it. So I picked that up. But not least is two Drunk Elephant skincare sets. So I originally was just going to get the C Firm A Day Serum and the TLC Framboos Glycolic Night Serum. However, they had two sets on here that were just such a good deal. So this first one is the Agent Ellie set. And this has a full size of the C Firma in it. And so the full size C Firma on its own is $80. This set with the C Firma plus everything else was $88. And kind of the same deal with my other set. So the other set is the Inspector Drunk Night Kit. This has a full size of the Glycolic Night Serum plus other things. So full size Glycolic Night Serum is $90. This is 98 and so I thought eight bucks extra to try a lot of these things would be great so I'll show you the day kit first okay so this is what the day kit looks like if you guys can really see so it has a full-size C Firma this is the be hydra intensive gel I've used this before this is great for people that have oily skin it's a lightweight moisturizer and then these three products here, I've never tried. And so that's kind of what sold me on this, is that I was able to try these three products for eight bucks more. So this top one is the Shaba Complex Eye Serum. I've never tried that. This is their new moisturizer. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I've heard a lot of good things about that. And then this guy down here is the Umbra Tint. It is a tinted sunscreen. SPF 30 and I've never tried that so I thought that was a really good deal I'm sorry that it does not focus very well for this is the only you know product I really wanted so that is what that kit is and then the other one same setup one has the full-size TLC another mini of the Be Hydra the Bestie Jelly Cleanser which I have used before and I really do like it it's a great just gentle cleanser um, the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. I do like that. I've used that before. But this thing I have never tried. This is the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. And this is um, a new product to me. I've never tried. But I've heard a lot of people rave about 
about that um, eye cream. That was everything. This haul is kind of all over the place, but I really love everything I got. I'm really excited to play with this even though it's broke and to get um, my new one in. I haven't purchased an eyeshadow palette in quite a while, so this was like a euphoric feeling for me unboxing this. And then when I saw it, that it was broke, it like broke my heart. But luckily Sephora was actually really great and it's offering to send me a brand new one right away. So hopefully that will get sent out soon. I am worried this is pretty glittery that it's going to be messy, but we'll, we will see. So that is everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. What did you pick up at the Sephora VAB sale? I know that while you are, guys probably will see this before it's over. So happy shopping to you that get to shop. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.